Very welcome directly from Germany, South Germany, hometown of Porsche, Mercedes cars and wow. green water. <laughs> <laughs> Many years ago, I told all the customers here in Germany that I don't use that green water stuff because I hate it. And the reason for that was the products which were on the market were really not good. The problem is that we check especially what is in the water, not only the green stuff, this is uh, algae or bacteria plankton, which is clear, but what is also in? Because we see a lot of problems with aquariums raising up the nitrate, raising up phosphates, or some of the elements. And so I was not very happy about this type of product which were available during that time. Meanwhile, we have some quite good breeders of phytoplankton, which you can see. There was a sample, which is a great video from Top Shelf Aquatics, which shows how they breed different strains of phytoplankton to feed the corals, the SPS and that stuff. But there's a different strain which are used and not only the green water which was available since some years. We use that Synechococcus, it's a bacterial plankton, and we use that to feed our zooplankton which we use for our breeding section for our larvae of shrimps and fish. Normally we use that stuff not for our corals because the most corals cannot handle this type of phytoplankton properly. They need a mix and they need different strains which are mostly the best one. One of the best is a sample, is a T isocrisis, which you know is golden water. Nowadays, it's a little bit difficult to ship all the stuff around, and so we wanted them to have a source how we can produce these phytoplankton with all strains we want. The strains which we need for the zooplankton in the aquarium, which works and uh, fight quite good against the cyanobacteria and that stuff, or when I want to get rid of some issues, and if I want to have the food for all the cores. And for this, we developed a product, which is at the moment really quite unique. It is a type of phytoplankton where we have 30 different strains in three different bottles, and all of them are chosen and picked together that they have the benefit of food, water treatment, and specific bacterial plankton which helps to get rid of some, let me say, issue cores can have. It's not a medicine or something like that, we are not allowed to say such things, but uh, the one or the other is reporting it, oh, my course looks way better. And even there was a goal from my side that the SPS with the smooth skin SPS, so the deep water SPS, they really love that stuff, that they, you see the skin goes better, the polyp extension is way better, and the cores feel quite well. Cause we focus on the bacterial plankton, not on the typical phytoplankton stuff, which is normally to buy. 30 different strains in three bottles, so every bottle have 10 strains. And we have some of them assembled, we write them all down, which one it is. It's like a Duniella Salina we have in, but we have also Rhodomonas assemble, or T. isocrisis loteas, and three different strains, which are especially searched for which type of SPS loves that at most. Plankton is a white word, for all living stuff from the smallest till to higher one like jellyfish which cannot moving against the current. Everything that floats around in the sea is called plankton. And it could be very small to very size, so from bacteria to a large jellyfish. Uh, plankton is widely used in the aquatic industry since long, long time, like krill, like other food as food. So this is Calanus plankton, which is from the Northern Sea or Arctic seas where this is harvested and this is also used for salmons and halibut breeding for the larvae. We use it for the corals because it's high saturated. They have a lot of fat, they have a lot of vitamins and uh, carotenoids, which is important for the corals. The food for the zooplankton, that's something which you see here in the development that we go to the reefs, that we go into the different areas where this plankton is living searching the strange, bring them here to Europe and breed them up. So all together we have about now 90 different strains and we put 30 of them together to have the best benefit for all this aquarium. That's the point why nowadays I said, if you buy a professional produced phytoplankton, which is controlled, what is left over in the water which is in, so that you have no too much zinc or too much heavy metals or too much nutrients left, so that you have the full power on the plankton then it's usable for aquarium. And some years ago, we had the problem that we have a lot of shit in these solutions. We have a lot of different type of bacteria, which we don't know if they're harmful or not, and a lot of nutrients. So the benefit of this plankton was not that like it is today. But take care that you buy a professional breeded one because they control it by ICP. We know that because we get that sometimes from the breeders to control in our laboratory. 
and we give them then the report out so I have a quite good overview about which one makes it really good and which one is let me say not detailed enough to have really a good benefit of that food then later in your aquarium. For what type of corals phytoplankton is useful? At the end you can say for most of them because you know that corals have a mucus around and corals also collected food over the mucus and take the mucus then in and in this mucus you have sometimes egg, bacteria, uh, they breed their own food, they breed their own bacteria and in the phytoplankton it's quite interesting you have uh, fatty acids, uh, a large amount of fatty acids, right good proteins but also very important organic compounds as vitamins and that stuff and this is highly concentrated. The very interesting thing on the food thing is that very often it's underrated how many trace elements and how many nutrients comes from food into the coral. We only check the water all the time. But a coral overnight grab a lot of stuff over the surface, over the mucus, over the polyps into. And now you have a lot of trace elements and then you start in the morning with the photosynthesis. That's why we use the bolus method with a one shot also from the halogens. If you give the phytoplankton overnight, the coral is starting in the morning with a nice breakfast, is fit, can do the work and if they do a good photosynthesis they grow fast so your nutrients will be lower your water quality will be better the corals grow better have a better polyp extension and that you can speed up with the right amount and with a good amount of specific bacteria or phytoplankton in this case it's phyto C A and B or ABC however you put it into the fridge it's always fresh every month we have a fresh batch you can use that for two to three months and the good thing is also you need only two to three milliliter for 25 gallons or 100 liters and due to the high density we have no unwanted other bacteria because there's no space for them left the solution keeps clean and you're safe to use it in your aquarium i wish you a very nice sunday take care of your aquarium look out it's always a bad weather so that means you have to go to the stores you have to check out there's many new great cords and all over the stores and ask your dealer about if you have the right phytoplankton and let you explain a little bit what they have maybe they have a professional source or they have these 30 different species in one bottle and then you can give your corals a nice sunday evening dinner they will love it have a good day bye bye